Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag the cannons. CCTV. Hi guys, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. All right guys, so today we're back with another mukbang and today guys we'll be having cookout. That's right, we got some food from cookout. Y'all know what cookout is. If you don't, we're going to definitely explain it to you. But first, Danny's going to hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give this video a thumbs up. Like it. That's right, guys. Hit that button. Hit that bell. Guys, remember hashtag growth, baby, growth. Hashtag again, it's moving closer to our goal. 25,000 subscribers. So I'd like to say, if you're new here, welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back, fam. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then we're going to get in this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourished to our bodies in this in your name. We pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. So, like I said, I need a sip. <laughs> was actually supposed to be, um, I was actually supposed to cook for this mukbang. Yeah, I'm sad too. So, um, <laughs> it didn't work out. Like, so, we just went to cook out. And so, yeah, you got a couple different things, you know. We both got some big double burgers and mm -hmm. got a couple cases of Lillas, some fries, Case some nuggets. Dilla. Got chicken sandwich, got the hot dogs, a little bit of it, a little bit. Yeah, everything. You know what I'm saying? This smells like college. Got my cookout sauce from Dick from my friend. I actually do like. That cookout sauce is good. <laughs> I like to do like cookout fries on my own. Like, I usually get them at the Cajun season, but sometimes oh, I don't. Wraps. But I do like the way they taste by itself. So. Eat a chicken nugget. Chicken. Hey, you know, I had um, baked double burger cheddar style. I want to show them to them. Hmm? I want to show them to them. Let me pull it out and show y'all the good thing. Get the good thing. <laughs> oh, that like mustard to me. It's cheese. It's cheese. Mm -hmm. I saw right now. I know it's scary, ain't it? Probably ain't real. I got my it's cookout real. style, which is what chill. is cookout style? It's chili, slaw, onions, and uh, mustard. But it's um, but I got I got no onions and added cheese and, mm. and ketchup. Yeah. Mm -mm. Pop in my lap, I'm sweating. Ooh. Sometimes mm. you gotta watch this chicken quesadilla, honey. Thank you, dry. All right, I'm putting something else. This is how I make all my burgers when I'm at an actual cookout. I put chili and slaw on them jokes. <laughs> Want cheese? I pick the mayonnaise. No more. I ain't got that. But. Ain't good. I don't think cookout is everywhere, is it? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think it's more of a south thing. Some people don't like cookout, but cookout ain't never did me wrong. Never. That's cheap. That was my college go to. That a stinky McDonald's, but you know McDonald's been there since the uh, crack of dawn. <laughs> and it's not just a plain burger, like, it's a grilled burger, like. If you want a grilled burger, mm -hmm. it ain't got to be uh, Labor Day. <laughs> <laughs> not Labor Day. If you want some little, a little black crust on your burger, just go up the street. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the winter. <laughs> ain't got to break out in no grill. Man, ain't not like a homemade burger, but still. There's something about a grilled burger and warm time that just makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. We didn't enjoy that luxury last year, did we? Mm -hmm. Let me go out here. What do I want? Eat this chicken wrap. That was so good. That was the mat is over. <laughs> oh, 
What's some of y'all favorite burger restaurant? Like that you just gotta go to. I wanna try that one up the street, but I can't think about what it's called now. Way back. Way back burgers. I think look, I saw I might say I never saw nobody eat there, but look good more. Yeah. In the video a few this weeks. This burger so. look good. Because I had never seen way back to we came here. Mm. But, um. I like five guys, but it cost too much. <laughs> Let me know if y'all ever eaten that, um, hip burger, too. That's new here. And we tried them so out. So good. Oh, they're blessing. But it's a little expensive. Boy. <laughs> They high as fine wine, but it's good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're gonna pay. You paying for that goodness? <laughs> you're gonna pay for. You paying almost ten dollars for the burger anyway. Mm -hmm. Your combo is definitely over ten dollars. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Then there's two um horse. We got a Shake Shack. Remember when we went there? Oh, uh, yeah. In Florida. Yeah, in Florida. It was good, but I feel like it was a little, little overhyped. Hype. Yeah. And then I haven't tried Burger I Am or Burger Rim. And what was the other one we passed? Five. Burger, burger five. five. How could I forget Cobra's? Oh, yeah. Cobra's. <laughs> Cobra's is best mm -hmm. now. Cobra's is out my heart. If AJ come home with one of them bags and ain't something in there, I'm going to be sad slash upset. Remember that one time you snuck and had it for lunch? That's why I just hide it. Hmm? That's why I just hide it. <laughs> he yeah. had it for lunch one time and bring me nothing. <laughs> what about me? To all the men out there who can't eat without your wives. But I can eat without him. <laughs> all right. It's not a problem for <laughs> But you know, I don't care anyway. <laughs> I thought I wanted this bacon wrap, but I think I'm about to take it off and put it on this burger. Uh -huh. <laughs> Too much wrap. Lord, All right, that tortilla be shit. It is. I thought I wanted another, but I don't. Why is this looking like mustard for real? Look at that. It is. It's so bright yellow. But is it's it cheese. Mustard? I can see the stiffness. Right. Of it. Look, is it mustard? Y'all, I'm going to take this bacon off. I don't want, it. I don't want this tortilla. <laughs> But yeah, see, like, I can be like, she'd be mad if I if I eat without her anyway. Like, no. I, I had a blah 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 earlier. You. But if it's something that she really like to, you just, know better for that cobra. Yeah, you were wrong for that one, bro. Whatever, man. <laughs> you was wrong for that one. This is the uh, chicken tender club sandwiches. One of my uh, college go tos. <laughs> Man, you pull up to that line half gone. Food be so good. <laughs> I be mean, done ate it. I don't even know it's gone. <laughs> this cheese is really throwing me off because I'm eating it off my finger and I'm like muscle. <laughs> but it's not. There's a KFC hot sauce for me to jump on. <laughs> So, AJ, have you seen that they trying to cancel Pepe Le Pew? You remember him? <laughs> Who's even thinking of Pepe these days? <laughs> so, you know there's a new Space Jam coming up. I showed you that the other <laughs> month or whatever it was. <clears throat> and so, they're saying that he will not be in the new Space Jam. <laughs> oh, we're going to miss Pepe so much. And I think it's all right. Because when my co-worker was telling me early, I'm like, Pepe, Pepe, <laughs> Pepe, the skunk you mean. Right. That's what we talking about. So basically they're saying that he promotes sexual harassment. Because <laughs> I guess he be, is he the one that be kissing on all their arms, these mm -hmm. women arms? Yeah. Honey. But. That's no. It's so silly. No reason to just. Y'all ain't gotta do Pepe like that. 
Everybody wants to be offended by everything he said. Right. Because let me tell you a cartoon that, well, <coughs> it was not a cartoon, but it had like real people in it. The Roger Rabbit. That offended me as a child. I was offended. Because <laughs> like, I was a child and I feel like I should not have been watching this. Happy Little Pew really was represent that. Like an Italian guy who swoons all the women. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It's not like even he was trying to be harassed. Like he tried to harass them. It's just that they fall all over him and then it's yeah, and Italian yeah. people kiss a lot. That's stupid. Why would you? I think it's good. He kissing all on these women's arms. Which I'm going to be honest. And maybe this movie will prove me wrong. But I'm not really looking forward to this Space Jam reboot. Mm-mm. I love LeBron. Yes, I do. But just, just leave that one alone. Right. That was, that was just. <laughs> I, that one's just too good to me. <laughs> I'm talking about a lot of nights just watching that movie over and over. Well, I've watched that movie as an adult taking my braids out. That's how much I like it. So, I mean, I want them to prove me wrong, but I got this feeling. Because the cartoon characters ain't even looking like, you know, like it was when we were children. They have like this new age cartoon thing going on. Not, I mean... I guess it would be considered an animation, but they looking weird. I already don't like it. <laughs> Give me the low budget effects. I'm okay with that. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, there it is. The hot dog. Mm mm. <laughs> this burger is good. <laughs> burger will bless him. Mm-hmm. Somebody earlier had asked me, did I remember Y2K? And I was like, I remember it, but my memory is fuzzy. Was it because everything was supposed to shut down? I was doing the most. Or was the world in there? <laughs> I don't know. I can't really remember. I don't. <laughs> Let me see. But when they asked me, I was like anthrax. Because for some reason, my childhood, I just remember people talking about anthrax. And anthrax in your mailbox. And anthrax in your gas pump. That's all I remember. Oh, and then the thing with the gas pump. I remember one time, my mama was telling me to make sure... That I checked gas pump because people put needles like HIV on it. And I'm like, this is too much. <laughs> Bus. No. It was just way too much for my life. <clears throat> Watch it down, man. I was 10. Let me see. Uh-huh. I didn't know people was in the pant. Uh, it was known as the millennial bug. <laughs> So basically, that all the computers was just don't shut down after those. Says Y2K was a big deal because a lot of devices stored the year as a two digit value. So stupid. <laughs> the computer code was written so that years and dates were with just the last two digits. With the year 2000 approaching, people were unsure what would happen when the date came. What in the wood? <laughs> <laughs> Why was we worried about that? Mm-hmm. Like the wheels were just gonna stop turning. All right. mm, that's what I said. Imagine everybody surprised when I woke up the next month. Mm-hmm. We're here. <laughs> then what year was it that everybody, was it 2012? That was what? No, it wasn't 2012, but I was too close. And everybody was like, the world's going to end, according to the Mayan calendar. What year was that? And I was like, uh... Was it 2010? I don't know. But I was like, uh, I beg to differ. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I was like, y'all are silly. You made me look that up, too. I was actually mad because everybody was making a big deal out of it. Mm -hmm. 
I woke up, I was still there. It was 2012. All right, make it. Uh, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm out. Like, we gotta shut up. <laughs> so much craziness. And the crazy thing is, these things still go on today. <laughs> and what do people do? They woke up and was like this. Ooh, I'm here. I just shrug your shoulders. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't Which call I think that was so. <laughs> I think that was so bad that you know people were um buying up everything in the um. In the stores, and I'm just like, if your world is ending, why do you need bread <coughs> and food? I mean, I guess, I don't know. Were we talking about apocalypse or the world going to blow up? Which one was it? Because if the world going to blow up, I mean, what you going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to eat. Your microwave blew up. Well, what are you going to eat? The world, the world explodes. Your bungalow ain't going to hold you. No. Or but... your, uh. Or your patty pie that you tried to bake. Shut. They ain't had no patty pie in 2012. Or no, did they? They might have it. They might have. Patty pie ain't that old. Well, it's about just like when they had hurricanes and people go out here or storms. Go out here buy milk and bread. What am I going to do with this? I'm just like. For and, one, I don't want it. In the day and age that we live in, um, we have a lot more non-perishables. And milk and you bread run is definitely time. perishable. <laughs> I don't want no milk and bread. Then your refrigerator go out. What you gonna do? Milk dead. <laughs> don't give me no milk and bread. It's crazy too. Now when I was growing up, if it was storming, honey, my grandma make us unplug everything. Right. I'd be like, Lord, the Lord is doing His work. Okay, well this is my time to pray. Jesus, please. Let this storm hurt me and play it past because she's making me miss my show. <laughs> she is making me miss my show, Lord, that I want to watch. Even with the coronavirus, like, I was irritated about everybody around here because, to be honest, we never bought anything in bulk when that <laughs> happened. Um, but everybody was in the stores buying everything like crazy. Tissue. And we had everything we needed through quarantine, didn't we? That tissue was a little funny A tissue sometimes. was, but I'm saying a tissue... Was the that's what the problem? What I'm trying point I'm trying to make is if everybody didn't panic, we still oh, would have yeah. been okay. Everybody panicked and went and stocked up like crazy, you know, hoarding basements full of tissue and things mm -hmm. like that. I'm just like it was so unnecessary. But I'm mean, like, I mean, and then you know, mm -mm. sometimes we was using wet wipes, and I said, "Lord." Okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with me. No. But anyway. Keep your drawers uh, stain free. <laughs> yeah, what you was about to say. <laughs> I keep your drawers stain free. Keep your white whitest. Uh, I don't wear you white drawers. You like drawers. white drawers. I'm about to say, I do not. I don't wear white drawers. I have two pairs, but I do not like them. But I'm just saying. Whatsoever. Use wet ones. <laughs> keep your, keep your, um. Get dirt. <laughs> Not keep your dirt. Yeah. You wipe with the wet ones, get all the dirt away, then you dry off with, with a regular piece of tissue, and you're good. That one. <laughs> AJ giving out uh, wiping <laughs> techniques for y'all. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what? Wiping techniques. I mean, you know, like I said, things happen. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody thought you wiped good enough. Then you That's go, enough. Go, that is enough. Go get in the shower and then ah! the underwear is telling a different Stop story. That. Stop that. I ain't got to hide it from your, uh, <laughs> and your spouse because you don't want to pick on you. Because I'll pick. Use wet ones. <laughs> I will pick. Use wet ones. Boy, you should throw these in the trash. Bring your dirt up. <laughs> You should just loose these and let them you go. Get the dirt off your booty or the dirt off your skin and never have to go on the draw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a spokesperson for wet one. <laughs> <laughs> wipe off your booty, wipe off your skin, and it don't got to get on your drawers. It don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really think of a time that cookout has made me mad, mad. 
Nope. Like from eating it. Like they may have messed up my food, but I still ate it. I all the time I get upset ready to cook out is because at one point all I got was chicken strip tray. That's the same thing. If you worked at the cookout that I went to, more likely you know exactly what I'm getting when I'm off the window. Or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I just hate when I get my tray, especially if I don't look at it right then, I get back to my dorm or wherever I'm going, and I got like these itty bitty crusties <laughs> of chicken strips, not even strips, because it ain't nothing but bread. Chicken fingers. And it's like there's no meat in them because it's just crust balls. I'm just like... <laughs> You know, that right there, man. Well, they used to put that. You got one one time. I had it on your sandwich and I was crying. Right. <laughs> but it seems like more likely, like, if you get a chicken strip club, like, you get the sandwiches, it's more likely that they'll give you, you know, nice, healthy strip swing sandwiches. But if you get a strip tray, <laughs> you might get, get the bottom of the barrel. Mm -mm. Them baby strips. Baby mm -hmm. strips. Uh-uh, crunch. I'm finished. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. What? <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, drop a comment down below because we love to interact with you in the comment section. Also, guys, like this video. Guys, remember to share this video. Share it with everybody, everybody, anybody, everybody. Uncle Scott. Baby's mama's mama's. Mm -mm. Um, because sharing is caring, so care about us. Care about us. Alright. Love you all day. Do you have anything? Nope. You take something? You ain't never got nothing. But what? I did have something that Nothing's one day. I said we love you all because you didn't say it.